Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's MD Fashion Code or Collectibles here, and today I have a full game in one of the hardest missions in Aliens Fire Team Elite, but we're playing on Insane. But it's not, you know, point defense, which I've been really loving point defense lately, but it, you know, it's a great mission, one of the most cinematic missions in Aliens Fire Team Elite. We play it on Insane and we do it smooth. So the story was. Spiked and I, we've been playing for a while, but we're playing with Vantage 9, a new boy. And the new boy, you know, he's only beaten a few extremes, a few insanes. But if you just stay like he is staying right now at the back, if you just stay at the back and you stand where you post to stand and you try not to friendly fire, you gonna be alright. You gonna be alright. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. We gonna get into more of this and also some commentary about the end of this game because there's some controversy on where to stand at the end but we're gonna get into it but first roll the indie he had a dream to play aliens fire team he collects themes He's got high self-esteem, he's credible, he's unforgettable, he's commendable, he's MD Fashion Code or Collectibles, okay? 1-2, what a great way to open the game. I think 1-1 is a good way to, it's like a tutorial mission in a sense. But then once 1-2 comes on, it's seriously difficult, especially on insane this room that we come that we come up here is actually one of the hardest rooms in the game and i think we only need two people max to bring vulnerability drones because i was using vulnerability drones like it's no one's business and at the end we get a vulnerability drone too from the crate so i think for this mission you should only have two people bring vulnerability drones but You'd need to learn to use them vulnerability drones. Hopefully I use mine here. I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. So I was using my drones just all the time, constantly, because for every difficult holdout, we just want a drone. I mean, what else are you going to bring? A, uh, a turret? I just don't think turrets are better than the vulnerability drone. Obviously, when it comes to damage output, the turret does way less than the vulnerability drone because the vulnerability drone is an extension of your shotgun. And the shotgun is the best gun in the game, not the turrets. So, yeah, I think as this game evolves, I think people are going to realize that vulnerability drones are just the norm. That we just use drones as the norm. And that's kind of where I'm evolving with this game. Using vulnerability drones just every holdout just use them every holdout when it comes to the campaign why the heck not and you do definitely have to time them but if everybody all three of you bring vulnerability drones then you have nine and that's probably most of these missions don't even have nine elites in them right and in the case of 4-3 when the multiple elites come they come within you know 90 seconds of each other so you can use it so i decided to play up here and it is so, so difficult to play this game with, with high ping. Like, when you're playing with high ping, and that's, I don't mind as long as I'm playing with pro players, but I'm playing with high ping on this. It's so difficult to play because when, a, when you see a prowler, you pretty much just have to run and, and roll. And you have to time that. Because if you don't, then it'll just snap. So this is, notice how I'm making really, a really long distance. And you'll notice many times in this gameplay, I make a long distance between me and the aliens. I don't let them come close. Whereas if I'm playing insane by myself with zero ping, I'll let them aliens come close because I'm super confident that I can headshot, one shot, kill them. So we, we had these prowlers here. This was on the roof, so yeah, these prowlers is... They is crazy. Knowing how to locate the Prowler, I can see why you would want to use the regular Q by the Recon, but let's just keep it a buck. The Bloodhound on the Recon, you're going to see, especially in their final holdout, how quickly we drop these Elites. And 
talking about the final holdout, I think you should hold... Say you're facing from the door Honecker's at, right? I think you should hold on the right. That makes the most sense to me because nothing spawns behind you. Ever, except... Oh, not ever. Nothing spawns behind you except one spitter. Right? And then you can just kill Monica in one shot. If you're pro players, you should be killing Monica in one in one shot. But... The... Yeah, I just think that's the best place. It makes the most sense to me. But some people like to hold the way you come in, which, you know, does make sense too. But you need multiple cryos as opposed to one. Right? And it hinges... It all hinges on... Can you kill a warrior quick? If you can kill a warrior quick with Bloodhound and Gunner, Gunner, or Bloodhound, Gunner, something else, right? But pro preferably Gunner. Then, uh, to be honest, this whole game becomes a lot easier. The campaigns become... If you can drop a warrior quick, then this whole campaign becomes a lot, lot, lot easier. And then it becomes an essential skill when it comes to horde mode and point defense. I'm trying to play point defense insane. I want to beat that without the exploit because I think it's definitely possible. It's just very, very yeah. difficult. But I love playing with the recon with that bloodhound. I love playing with that recon with the bloodhound because as a gunner, I just want to do the most damage I possibly can. That's ha that's the cause I'm living by. In another note, what was I going to talk about? Well, I'll, until I remember what I was going to talk about, I'll talk about my ab workout that I was doing the other day. It's on those like... Actually, I'll show you all boys a picture. It looks like these things where you put your arms on the top, right? You hold the top and your body, your legs go at the bottom and then you lift your legs up and then down and then up and then down. I'm telling you, I did how many sets of that? Like a hundred reps. And I think in like eight sets or seven sets, but that's really gonna hit your lower abs, especially if you're going down slow and then you going to the bottom and then just holding. If you go to the bo bottom, do an isometric hold, you can feel it in your lower abs. If y'all want a six pack abs, this is the exercise to do for real. For real, for real. And I was watching Aliens the other day, you know, and I, I obviously love the scene in Aliens where Vasquez is doing the pull ups. I don't know if y'all remember that, but when I was a kid, I always thought that was the coolest thing ever. And that's why I do, honestly, one of the reasons why I do calisthenics right now is because of that scene in Aliens where Vasquez um, is doing the pull-ups. Because to get, to get maybe philosophical about it, pull-ups are about are showing how well you can manage yourself, your body weight. That's what it is. Pull-ups are that from a, a logical sense, but then let's let's move into it as a philosophical sense. Lifting yourself up shows how well you can handle your body weight. It shows how well you can handle your mental psyche. It shows how well you can handle other things in your life, right? If you can handle the weight of the other things in your life, like you can handle the weight of a pull-up if you're really good at pull-ups, it shows that you are overall a very strong person. Because a lot of the time in life, it's too much for people. I think it's always too much for everyone. And there goes my last drone. So, and I use the drone because I know we're getting a drone here. But this is the thing about pull-ups, right? Mastering your own body. I honestly think all you have to do to be great is master yourself. Just master yourself. Don't worry about if someone else going to give you a... Give you this, give you that, give you that. Just master yourself. The person who can master themselves is going to be the greatest. And that's why it, they showed Vasquez as the one that was doing the pull-ups because it was kind of hitting hitting that um, female, strong female character stigma in the face, right? Of just like this this person. That whole movie hits that stigma in the face because we have Ripley, the scared one that goes to become the hero. Um, you see Vasquez. Just instantly being like a badass and like I can I can handle myself. She really can handle herself by doing those pull-ups. That's a perfect way to show that. And obviously the master filmmaker James Cameron knew that. That's why he did it. So 
Yeah. When holding at the end, hungry, hungry hippos. if you have Bloodhound and the Gunner, right, ooh, this game mind. become easy, boy. Ooh. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna post a video soon of me and Spiked doing insane with two players. He was playing a troll build though. He was playing flamethrower and plasma rifle. So no bullets. He was playing a no bullets build on the gunner. So a flamethrower gunner build, right? And we just scraped by. We would have done a lot better if I had better ping, but um. But yeah, Gunner just scraped by <laughs> because he was playing a troll build. But as you saw, guys saw, if you saw a video, a couple of videos back, me playing with the recon. Um, I was playing Gunner. I was playing Gunner. He was playing recon. That amount of damage is more than two Gunners. For real. Recon and Gunner is more damage than two Gunners. How crazy is that? Recon, Gunner. But... But let's not get it twisted. Recon and Gunner are the two best classes here. It's Recon, Gunner, Gunner. Or, alternatively... Yeah, and see here I noticed I'm too close. I was just like, I'm gonna just back out. That's why I needed here to get rid of this. And I said, okay, I'm gonna back out. Because I'm way too close. There's no need to be that close. Especially when you don't have the ping for it. You should be all the way behind everyone else. And also, if you're the worst player, you should be all the way behind everyone else. Anyway, join the Steam group, Discord group below. There's a bunch of shit go stuff going on in the Discord. Y'all boys better check it out. And I'm going to see y'all boys later. Comment below. How do you exercise? With me, as I said, pull-ups, chin-ups. I'm all about calisthenics, body weight, because... For real? I'm gonna go on another tangent. Screw y'all. I was gonna leave, but no, screw y'all. I'm gonna go on another ta tangent. This tangent is about, I'm not built like other people. So I was rock climbing, right? I do bouldering too. I love bouldering. A lot of, a lot of boys, right? I know who boulder are made for bouldering. And what do I mean by that? Made for bouldering. They're short, they're light, they have lean muscle, right? I'm not, I'm not, Part of my biology is made for that because I'm tall, but the other part of it isn't because I have a very heavy lower frame. I have heavy hips. I have heavy thighs, right? In a sense, I'm not made to do calisthenics. If anything, I'm made to do bodybuilding or whatever, you know, I'm made for. But the fact of the matter is, we are given what we're given in this life. And there's nothing we can do to change that except work as hard as we possibly can to do the best we can. And that is exactly what I do with calisthenics, doing pull-ups. Would it be easier if I just became a, a, a deadlift athlete? A deadlift athlete, yeah. you know, someone who's just lifting above his head? Would it be better if I just didn't, would it be easier if I didn't exercise at all? Of course, but I'm picking the exercises for some reason that also my body's made like that, but also my brain is made so that when something's really difficult, I have to, I, I get really deep satisfaction from accomplishing it. And you see that in Aliens Fireteam Elite, and you see that in my love for aliens ever since I saw her when I was a kid. Because Ripley, going back to get Newt, is a very freaking difficult thing to do. Was she made to do that? Was she, was, was Ripley made to go back down into the hive and, and get Newt? No, Hicks was made for that, but she had to. There's no, see how I roll and then, oh, I hate it because of low ping. But I, she wasn't made for that, but she still stood up and did it. And that's why we and me look up to her because there are things in our life that we're not made for, but we can train. And then when we accomplish it, it just feels so much better. And that's... I feel very, very, very strongly about this, boys. And any boys who know about MD Fashion Co. The Art, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So, that's a rant. I went on a rant for you boys. I, no, I didn't even... I didn't go on a rant for you. Honestly, I went on a rant for myself. But also, you were there. So, if you like that rant, and you literally watch this, comment below... Ding dong, ding dong, comment below that if you watched this far in the video, because goodness me, I went on a rant, boy, 
and enjoy the rest of this. Join the Steam group and Discord group below. We got a health talk sub part in the Discord below. I'm gonna see y'all boys later. MD Fashion Code or Collectibles. Enjoy the final holdout of this game because let me tell you, we drop them elites fast. I'm gonna go watch it now. See y'all boys later. Bye. Let's move forward, and remember there's a burst to spawn here, if there is, I'm going to overclock. Okay, no burst to spawn. Oh! What a clusterfuck. Wait, I'm moving to the middle. So now we have like five drones, so we need to use them all. Like when we just did. Okay. So, everybody put your mines here. Put your. Chili. Actually, I have a better idea. I have a better idea with the, the mines. Follow me, follow me, follow me. I have a better idea. No, let's not do that. Let's oh, yeah. not do that. So it's, you... it's a lot harder. So, you want to hold just the normal yeah. way? Or at the entrance, yeah. Like here? Okay. It's much better for our setup, especially for a sniper recon. Yeah. Uh, someone take the A kit. Right, if you say so, but I don't think it's better because two warriors come from behind us. So we need to turn and... Um... We have much more room to engage both, both ways. It's very tight in the other spot. It's good for a phalanx, but nothing else. I disagree, but that's okay. All right, let's move up here. Check this. I'm ready. I have two cryos and a drone. Play some more mines. Oh, hold on. Yeah. We all have to be here anyway before we can trigger it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why'd you put a sentry there? We're holding up there, Ben. Look at this. That's okay. Bro. Doesn't matter. This is fodder at this point. We've got one. Okay. Unlocking takes a couple minutes. Drones, drones are dropping. Right, well, we should have. Can... We just overclocked at the same time. We They're didn't coming. do that. I haven't used mine yet. Oh, great. Oh, good then. I'm using my drone. Cryo and mines. Oh, it's already in use. Never mind. How many cryos do you have? Advantage. Uh, three. Okay, so your job is to put put one here, you know, at the front, like all the time, right? When it goes down, you put it back up. Got it? Say in about yep. ten seconds, you can refresh it. You need to overclock to for this next warrior. Uh, let's see refresh yep. the prior now, because the warrior's coming soon. Oh, the prior behind us. Refresh the yeah, front. front one. The front front yeah. one. Go put another one. And then get ready for warrior behind. There he is. Okay, let's go. Up on the left. Up on the left. Put this down. Put this down. Turn around. I'll refresh the last cryo behind. And yep, some I got two cryos, so I'm gonna put another cryo here for safety. For, um, what's the name? Can we get the drone up? Vantage? Drone? Yep, it's coming. coming. Turns up, pops. Yep. Drone's up. Yes. See if we can get our rifles out and kill that spit up. The lead. Warrior time. Oh, refresh the front fire if you can. Yep, front fire, get on it. Uh, now, basically. Someone, Monica. grab it. Okay, too late. She's back. Just focus She's on Monica. For me. She did. Oh, yeah. Like, for me, that's a lot cleaner than how to do it on the left. Yeah. But that's a cool spot as well though. I'd like to try it as a phalanx. 
but as a recon it was like hell. Why? I don't understand why it's hell. Because you have a sniper rifle? Well that's part of it, but the other thing is um, the first corner only really two people can shoot safely because any time you have to move you're just instantly running into another player. Yes. Do we have ammo? But it's like... Yeah, it's dropped. I'm gonna overclock on this one. Right, and you have three drones, right? Alright, I'll use my, just use my last one now. No, I mean, um, more. Fine. That's what I mean, yeah, we have X, we always have extra. If we all bring drones. Yeah, I know. So yeah, there we go. Damn, it's becoming a problem for me. Yeah, me too. Nice. It, it's over. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, God. Well played. Finally. My board's clear. Collect our man. Your very first defense was the sweetest I've had it. pressure suit. Stand by, fire team. New plan coming. Call, Your very first uh, ammo box. I want to shout out all yeah. the Patreons who is supporting yeah. MD Fashion Crew. All y'all turn up. Let's get it. Shout out to Dagenham Dave. He is not a slave. This is where your name will be if you're a Patreon. All y'all turn up right now. If you join the Patreon for $2.50 a month, you get a shout out on the videos and get to go to the Discord channel with the pros. Boys can't comment in or can't chat in unless they part of the Patreon thing. So look down below for the link and tell me what you think, boy.